All right, I got this uh, long nose gar specimen here. I caught a few years back and uh, preserved her with some just regular ordinary household salt. But I wanted to go over a little bit about uh, uh, why these things are so hard to catch sometimes. You know, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. They're hit and miss. Um, there's a lot of different techniques. And I want to go over a couple with you guys just to, so I can get you guys opinion on, on uh, uh, what do you think is the best and, or, or you, if you have anything that I haven't heard of that, that uh, you should you think we should all try um, so I want to start off by uh, first saying that these things are have ancestors that go back to the prehistoric days back to the dinosaur days they remain virtually unchanged for millions of years uh, they're just a lot smaller now but uh, the armor and everything is, 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 is the same well, this head can actually spread apart at all these little seams here so this skull will break open apart a little bit and they can swallow you know baits that they can fit in that tiny throat and this one here actually got two rows of teeth as well get a good grip on those fish they ain't going off they ain't coming off that well you can try a regular straight shank hook Let's see if we can't demonstrate a little bit of that right here. You got the gar here and you got that hard bony mouth up there. That's a good place to hook it if you can get it there. Other than that, that thing will slide all day long inside this mouth. It's just hard, hard, hard. Well, since the arrow wanted to make this thing, you could try an arrow. You know, get through that. It looked like someone tried to do that here a long time ago. I don't know. But that's another way you can catch them. Uh, some people make those rope lures, you know. That that you can, that sticks real well. I can imagine this thing getting tangled up in that. We could try that. Um, circle hook. Yeah, circle hooks are always good. They're, you know, so it takes the bait inside there, swallows it down comes out circle hook supposed to do his job right he's doing it he's doing it he's doing it. he's pulling away he's swimming he's swimming he's swimming and then all of a sudden this dude wants to turn around and then that circle hook oh, oh look it's still in there oh and then it pops out because these guys will jump if you ever caught one they jump and they they, they fly around and they whip around and they'll spit that thing out that's what makes them so fun for me got the swim fish swimming along got that circle hook puts that bait in his mouth he swallows it Start swimming away and as the circle hook comes out it's supposed to do his job it's supposed to come out and get right there and as it pulls away that circle hook supposed to set itself but every time it'll pop out uh, you can try a treble hook this guy will go in there take that treble hook swallow, swallows it all all the way deep in there that might get stuck in the tender parts inside its belly so that thing is going to go, you know, deep in there. If you can get it into about that far, let it wait for them to swim around and, and swallow it, you might have a chance. So, that's the one I recommend. But I always try to catch them with these straight hooks and stuff like that. It's a lot more challenging. But, you know, what do you guys think? Oh, and if uh, you're going to do this, obviously, you know, eat the dang thing if you can, you know. Now if you're going to do it with this too, if you're going to do it with this, you know, if you're going you're to get them like that, eat the dang thing, preserve them or something, you know, just don't throw them away, throw them back. They're beautiful fish, especially in the springtime, all their colors come out and their tail comes out all bright and orange and black. Yeah, look at that shininess. They got little holes in there too so the bottom teeth can fit in the top yeah but they got that hard bony mouth you guys those hooks I have a hard time getting in there you can try to set the hook down into the soft part on the throat that's always good so jerk your pole real fast to the left and to the right down in a downward angle which you might be able to get them there but use a real sharp stiff hook so you can get it in the sides of this hard skull it's probably why these things lived around live for so long they're hard to catch they're hard to kill yeah so 
these fish they also uh, have a primitive lung it's their it's actually their their swim bladder but uh it can serve as a, a primitive lung so they can take up gulps of air and low oxygenated water and survive and you know droughts and stuff like that muddy water and then again they still got their their little gills here which are super hard plated on both sides i like that shininess they're almost metallic look at that yeah i wish my whole body was covered in this she used to have this nice bright big orange and black tail spotted like a leopard no, i don't take these guys all the time I appreciate them. A lot of people used to call them trash fish and stuff like that. I don't think they're trash fish at all. These things have been around longer than we have, so they have the right to be here more than we do, I'd say. Yeah. This guy right here, man, it's a dragon in itself right there, man. Look at that guy. Look at that pattern, man. That structure. That bio structure right there, Mother Nature structure, can't get put together any better than that, any stronger. That same sheen, hard as a rock. Again, that soft throat. Get those big fish down in there. Like I said, their skulls expand, they open up. So. And if you look close, you can actually see that lateral line still there. It's a big old battle wound right here. That lateral line will work through all the way down. And with the light, I don't know if you can see that, but there's these little divots. That's part of the lateral line as well. But, like, PVC pipe, if I could describe it. I heard stories back in the day that the Indians used to use the big alligator gar scales for uh, small arrowheads. I don't know how true that is, but judging for how hard they are, I imagine it work on a small squirrel, rabbit, or a bird or something. This guy got a bunch of teeth as well. This one actually bit my buddy. Oh, no, I think it was this one here. It might have been both of them. <laughs> he thought they were dead and they still had some bite in them. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about uh, the best way to catch these these guys. Leave your comments below if you'd like, if not, 